Hello, the beast. <laughs> Hello, people of Facebook, and welcome to another video. Yes, another I don't idiot. Really have a... Another idiot. Welcome with to another idiot with uh, the beast. The beast. Clancy. What is his name? I forget what his real name is. Clancy is uh, uh, Joseph, I think. Clancy oh is uh, Joey. Is what's his face over in Canada? TJ Fox. Clancy. Yeah, that's Clancy. Take out the trash, Clancy. Twenty minute limit video. Both Canadian, close enough. Um, so, yeah, twenty minute um, limit. Before I get to the video, I think this guy lives like in Nova Scotia. It takes or the something. beast. Ah, they're all they're all the same there. <laughs> the beast really needs. Uh, you can't limit the beast to twenty minutes because it takes him that long to even communicate like two things. Yeah, like, by the end of this video, we'll know, like, he likes hot girls and wants pizza. And, like, what else was he talking about? I, don't know. I knew he wanted pizza, like, instantly. <laughs> uh, WWE.com recently announced the Ultimate Warrior passing away at age 54. Rest in peace, Ultimate Warrior. The gods will look after you. The gods. And, um, the gods. Yeah. You are now in Valhalla. Drink from a horn with mead. Mead. You and Ultimate Warrior, one more thing. You always have the power of the gods. <laughs> you always have the power. Anyway. I have ultimate power. The gods will never let you down. There we go. So this dude's anyway. a pagan. So the beast is a pagan. Um... Now, to the video. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you think he's going to talk about? Probably girls getting with assholes. <laughs> so, what are nice my, guys? Even if they're boring, um, they YouTube have their job. Subscriptions. What I did have in YouTube. Mellow Mike 21. Um, a very fucking good YouTuber. A very um, fucking always good watch YouTuber. his rants. He's a fucking awesome guy, and I have him on Facebook. Um, so, he doesn't talk much, but you know what? That's fine, because I like looking at his posts. I even comment. Okay. What? what? That's yeah. pretty cool. Shh, don't um, talk. Let me just talk. So, he posted this picture. Okay, um, it said... We will probably never never understand black holes or why women fall madly in love with douchebags. Ah! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. It doesn't matter what he starts talking about. It always goes back to the same thing. Yep. I was sitting there like, is the beast going to talk about black holes? <laughs> and then he's like... Why the women always fall for douchebags? It's like ah. Uh, so the, the, this guy is this YouTuber he's talking about is just like him. He's like ah oh, these he's women. A good YouTuber. Ah oh, these women. And um, we have a little post here. Okay. I will read it off and then uh, give my thoughts. Yeah. Why do you have to explain vote? this? Why does this need to be explained? I'm going to read it off and tell you my thoughts. Like he, he there's like he always has to over explain everything he's doing. It's like I'm making a video now. It's like we know, I'm we sorry. understand, and I'll try to be as calm as possible. As calm as possible. That's difficult. Please for the don't. Beast. Please don't be calm. He says this is true, but then again, there are a lot of reasons why. Um. There are a lot of reasons some women date jerks, bad boys, and thugs. Have you ever heard of a good thug dude? Maybe not, but oh well. This is a decent post anyway. Um, <coughs> his first point is some chicks stupidly want what is bad for them, which I think is complete and utter shit. Well, no. See, it's kind of like the way that you want to wake up and eat three packages of Oreos for breakfast. You know, even though you probably know that's not good for you. So, maybe some girls have the same thing going on with, like, bad boys. You know, doesn't that seem like a possible thing? TJ, why don't they just want to date boring, ugly, fat, stupid guys like the Beast? He just doesn't get it. He can't figure it out, you know? 
He's like, I'm, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, and I'm broke. What am I doing wrong? I can't figure it out. Is there a big hole in his wall? I don't know what the fuck. It looks like something leaning against his wall. Uh, it looks like a hole in the wall to me. Is it a hole in the wall? <clears throat> looks like it. I don't know. I don't know. Ladies. Yeah, I mean, you can see the shadow where the wall is on it. What, 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 I don't even understand why that's there, then. And you can see, like, the, the crinkle of the, did, the wall on the did, outer edge. Did the beast just punch a wall when he got upset? It's it's bigger than a punch. He must have body slammed Dude, the, the fucking beast, like, probably flicked the wall with his pinky, and then the wall just, like... <laughs> he's like... Pfft. Yeah, I forgot the power of the beast. The power of the beast, dude. Why would you want what is bad for you? Yeah, well, I mean. <laughs> oh, that's just that's such sound logic. Why do you need meth? It's bad for you. Oh, I quit. I mean, like, why do you need cigarettes? It's bad for you. Oh, I quit. Yeah, I mean, like people desire what's bad for them all the time. What are you talking about? It's like about? almost human nature. I mean, just look at you, motherfucker. I mean, like you look like you desire a few things that are bad for you. I mean, just, I mean, look at you. Like, <laughs> just put your face right now. With your fucking, you know, like, blimp-sized chin on a t-shirt. And fucking just put that quote underneath. Why what, pe Why would people want what's bad for them? It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if you know this, but when you go to Dunkin' Donuts and the people behind the counter just, like, start, like, panicking, that's because you're there for some shit that's bad for you. Oh, shit, last time I came and a lot of donuts. It. It's like, oh shit. They just tell all the other customers, oh, alright, everyone out. Everyone out. Everyone out, the beast is here. Go, just go. There won't be anything left. TJ will find Oreos. <laughs> if there are Oreos to be found, TJ Dude, will find TJ's a fucking them. Oreo bloodhound. Like, drop, uh, drop one package of Oreos in the fucking Sahara Desert. You'll fucking come back like three days later and TJ will be like eating them. Like, Those were good. <laughs> what about some water? I don't know, I can't help you. <laughs> I like water. His reasoning for this is because he's bought Oreos and specifically hidden them from me and not even told me they were there or anything but somehow I always find them I had Oreos one time and I didn't even tell you that I had them and the next thing I know you're eating them yep I told you man yeah it does not matter TJ will fucking find your Oreos and fucking eat them all that's what I do